Hi. Today we're going to talk about the tool to make revision clouds easy and nice. So here we have this Revit Advanced Sample Project. The standard approach of creating revision cloud and tag it. For example, if we're going to tag this room name, consists clicking the revision. Oh no, sorry. Click the uh, revision cloud. One draw a square around it, two, click OK, three, and then go back to annotation, four, tag by category, six, and then drop the tag, seven. And then you have to click modify to drop out. So there's six or seven steps, and if you're going to do that multiple times, it's very hard to keep the cloud consistent and also it takes a lot of time. So if we're going to use Dynamo Player, what we can do is click this add cloud around each element, then pop up the selection view, just select and then finish. So one, two, three, and voila. What's more importantly, it allows me to pick multiple elements all at once. So room names, and then finish. Four of them, Constant, instantly. And all of them has the same kind of boundary around this room name which is nice and clean. What it also does is it can also add cloud around model element, of course. So for example, if I click this one, it says add cloud around all element. And then I go ahead and select these stores, go finish. See, it created a large cloud that contains all of them. So now I can easily toggle between these two kind of functions and create cloud as much as I want in a very consistent way. This one also works on floor plans. No, I mean, sorry, I mean sheets. So here I'm in the sheet. I'm going to drop some symbols. And create some text note. So, um, for example, if I'm going to click this add cloud around each element, I'm select one, two, three, finish, done. So it drops create a cloud around it, and then create add cloud around all element, select these, done. Or you can select all of these, finish. So yeah. With the help of a Dynamo player, adding cloud can be very consistent, fast, and easy. Thank you.